In this video tutorial, we're looking at how to share your iPhone or an iPad screen during a Zoom meeting. I'm going to be demonstrating the steps using my iPhone, but the steps are almost the same if you are planning on sharing your iPad screen. There are a couple of steps you need to take before the meeting even starts. So let's have a look at the steps first. From your device, go to Settings. From here, click on Control Center. Click on Customize Controls. Scroll down until you see screen recording and click on plus sign to add screen recording to your control center. Once you've done that, you are good to start sharing your screen. So schedule or run the Zoom meeting as you would normally do. All right, so I'm now hosting the meeting from my phone. Uh, that's the video capture from my phone. And I also have a participant who is going to be viewing me sharing my screen from the iPhone. To start sharing your iPhone or an iPad screen, click on Share Content, then Screen. Select Zoom if you have more than one option. Make sure the microphone is on and click on Start Broadcasting. The screen of our phone is now being broadcast. That's the phone of my screen and right here, this is what a participant will see on their screen. If you would like to share a video clip from your phone, you need to take one extra step by tapping on a white space and making sure that the share device is on. Once you've done that, you can open a YouTube video clip that you would like to play. And as you can see, that's my screen right here. And that's what participants see uh, on their screens in Zoom. If I play back the video clip, What you hear right now is actually the audio. Let me just stop it really quickly. What you've heard right now is the audio that was coming from the participant side, from the laptop side, but the video was played uh, on this iPhone that participants can hear the audio as well. So let me demonstrate it one more time. So if I click, if I click play, participants now can hear the sound. Let me quickly go to full screen and mute the audio, otherwise it's really hard to listen. So I just wanna demonstrate one thing. So right now the video is playing and I would like to turn the screen in a horizontal mode. And as you can see right now, there's a quick delay and sometimes video actually stops and actually that what happens right now, the video on our on participants and has actually stopped. However, it's still playing on my mobile device. If I turn it back to the vertical mode, the video will resume on participants side and it is still playing on my end. Sometimes it does happen, sometimes it doesn't. If I exit full screen mode and turn the phone horizontal one more time, the video might play again. As you can see right now, it's playing on my phone and it's still playing on the participants end. There will be a sound delay, but there's really nothing we can do about it because Zoom has not been designed as a streaming solution or streaming software. So let me just quickly stop the YouTube and demonstrate to you another thing that doesn't work. Uh, if I try and play back some music, let's try and play back some Baby Shark. As you can see now, the audio is playing on my phone and on the participant side it's showing as playing track, but there's no sound coming through. This is another thing that you should be careful about if you would like to play audio while sharing a screen from your mobile device. Make sure that you check out and you do some dry runs before your actual meeting because some things simply do not work. To go back to the Zoom settings, you can always double tap and um, go to Zoom. Uh, if you would like to stop sharing, click on stop sharing here, or you can simply tap on this red line at the top right here and click stop sharing. The steps of sharing your screen are from the iPad are absolutely the same. You also need to go to the settings, also need to add the screen recorder to your control center. The only difference really is that the share content button is located up top, not at the bottom, but that's the only difference. So the steps should work for the iPad as well. Today you've learned how to share an iPhone or an iPad screen during a Zoom meeting. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I normally answer every single question or a comment. Thanks for taking your time to check out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.